What's good y'all? Ruds here. Today's soap review features Grooming Department Boomer. Grooming Department is a fairly well-known artisan in the uh, United States. Uh, they're known for their uh, consistent formulas and uh, constant base tinkering, if you will. Mohammed, the uh, owner-operator, loves to uh, push the boundaries of soap bases by adding unique ingredients and uh, tinkering with the bases. Uh, this can be quite cumbersome sometimes. They've gone through several uh, base iterations in 2019 and prior to that. Um, in order to help me through that, I uh, check out his website. I'll put a link below to that. There's a uh, page that discusses all the uh, available formulas. The two most recent formulas released are known as Nye, which is a uh, luxury branded shaving soap base, as well as Fortis, which is the uh, budget friendly shaving soap base that this soap happens to be offered in. You can find grooming department soaps direct on their website, also at westcoastshaving.com, as well as italianbarber.com. So Boomer is inspired by Brut by Fabergé, a uh, classic aftershave and cologne. This features scent notes of anise, basil, bergamot, lavender, lemon, geranium, jasmine, ylang ylang, oak moss, patchouli, sandalwood, tonka bean, vanilla, and vetiver. I would classify this as a spicy aromatic fougere. And being a big fan of the uh, original Brute aftershave, I can tell you this is a uh, close but not identical match to that scent, at least to my nose. Mrs. Rudd's does not approve of this scent whatsoever. She never liked when I wore Brute in the past and uh, went as far as to say I smell old when I use this scent. Regardless, scent strength on this is mid-strong off of the container and remains mid-strong once you uh, lather and shave with it. TryThatSoap.com recommends Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements at 2 as a similar scent profile. So Fortis is a budget-friendly soap base with main ingredients of tallow and milks. This is a firm soap on the firmness spectrum. Despite that, it loads effortlessly into your uh, brush fiber of choice. I would consider it of average thirst when considering current thirst levels of uh, many artisan soaps. When you do properly dial in and hydrate this lather, you will arrive at a consistency similar to creme fraiche. Slickness on this soap is excellent in terms of both primary and residual slickness. Post shave is also excellent despite the uh, Budget friendly price tag. I'm quite impressed with the overall performance of the Fortis soap base, specifically when considering its cost per ounce. And although that doesn't factor into the shave score metric, I think it's worth noting that this is now in the conversation for. bang for your buck performance. When taking my experience and the metrics we just discussed into account, I've arrived at a 
shave score of 93 for the grooming department for this base. For a similar performance in a soap base, I suggest you check out the Gentleman Nod non-vegan offering. As you can see, I had a uh, really drama-free but classic smelling face shave today with grooming department Boomer. Uh, I'm really impressed with the Fortis base in terms of its uh, performance. And uh, while this scent is going to get me some couch time undoubtedly, I think uh, anyone who enjoys the classic scents, particularly Brute, will really enjoy this one. I hope you have the opportunity to uh, check it out in the near future. As always, thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it. Comment below if you have anything to say. And if you're not already a subscriber, please become one. See ya.